this is Evolving with Etta and my channel is all about relationships and travel and just vlogging because how would I not like to go out and we eat and so I share <laughs> so and I share it with you and if you are not a subscriber why don't you just hit the button and you just keep on coming back and just keep on watching exactly what it is that we do here as you're evolving with Etta. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you ever so greatly because I do this for you. If there were no you, I wouldn't have any interest in doing it because I have somebody on the other end of this phone saying, girl, I'm waiting for you to record something. What you got? So happy Vita day number two. Ew. And today is all about what your interest is on a cruise versus an all-inclusive. I can only go on what I know. I cruise carnival. So I'm going on how I have traveled with, with cruising with carnival versus an all-inclusive. Okay, so you definitely have to discuss what your interests are. You need to be both interested in the same locations because uh, then you'll be doing separate vacations. So once you get your interest down and you try to figure out, are we going to go somewhere where it's nice and hot and I'll get a nice suntan or are we going somewhere that's freezing cold and I need a coat? So that's extremely important. When you first wanna sit down to decide what you're going to do for your vacation. If I'm going on a Caribbean cruise, most of your activities are going to be, uh, if you're on the ship, when you reach your destination, you're gonna have outdoor excursions, of course. And it's gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's gonna be, you know, hot, uh, atmosphere, you're going to hang on the sun, beach, things like that, bathing suit, and you're, you know, going to warm climate and you're hanging out on the beach. You are hanging on the beach. Now, the one difference about an all inclusive versus a ship is the timing. If you're going to hang on a cruise ship and you're going to do an excursion, something like that. You have a time to be back on the ship. It's not that your fun is cut short because who wants to be out um, skydiving, hang gliding? Is that what they call it? I don't know. Or zip lining? Who's, who's going to be doing that for five and six hours? <laughs> I don't know. And I hope that's not your wait time. So you have to consider if you want to really hang out somewhere and really take in what the island has to offer that would be an all-inclusive because you have all day you have night activities into the next day in the next day so of course there are many benefits to both some people don't want to hang out on an island with a bunch of strangers for a whole week no get me off the ship on an excursion back on the ship with my people because you feel like yeah we done been around each other at least a day i feel like i, I know y'all but timing for hanging on a ship and doing a short excursion versus hanging on a um being in an all-inclusive is so so different you know you are so much more to me it's so much more relaxing when you're on an all-inclusive because you don't have to be back and you don't have to, you know, hurry up, take a shower, got to get to dinner. It's not like that at all when you're doing an all-inclusive. But a lot of people like that fun packed energy, run, 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 busy, busy, busy. I mean, you can do that on an all-inclusive as well if you have a jam-packed day like that. But when you're um, getting on a ship, you're just, timing is everything. You know, you don't want to miss the ship, okay? We love the pair runners, but no, we don't really want to be a pair runner. So that's a whole different thing all in itself. So the timing and everything, the where we're going, somewhere hot versus cold, and you're spending your time there for an actual few hours or four, 
five hours versus four or five days. It makes a total difference. But that's Vita Day 2. That's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow for Vita Day 3. Thank you for stopping by. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.